What? This might be the last time we shoot on this camera. Maybe. Well, the last time this is the main camera, let's put it that way. Right. Welcome back, we're the Bourbon Junkies. He's Kane, I'm Sean. And today, we're going to do a budget bourbon whiskey war because yeah. people have been asking. They don't even know what time it is. We're not outside today. We lie. I know, that's true. 8.30 in the morning. Nice. <laughs> that's alcohol problem. Time. Oh. It's budget whiskey war day. Yeah. Here it is. Let's see if every one of these bottles that's cheaper than Jack can beat Jack. Four bottles here that are all, I would say, available and budget. Now people are gonna complain about availability there. People have been asking for like a budget whiskey war, and um, when I was looking at bottles for the budget whiskey war, I thought, why not put Jack Daniels in there? Everybody buys that stuff. They sell, Jack Daniels sells more than all three of those combined, I bet. I would guarantee it. Yep, so why not see if every bottle that's cheaper, this bottle's $13.99 according to the tag on the back of it. None of these are hand sanitizer work. I need you to get away. Hey. I'm like, okay, I was gonna put the bottle back. Do it. Put them back. I don't know. Cool. Rip it. Jack belongs on that shelf right there. I'll tell you go. what. Okay. A, four. Oh. Whiskey. Oh my gosh. I haven't had whiskey yet today, obviously, which makes sense. You said it was 8 30 in the morning. So yeah. hmm. I, I'm forgetting that these are all gonna be budget. I was gonna say, it smells a little cheap. <laughs> I forget all of these are gonna be budget. And cheap. This one's like bready. That, like, uh. You're thinking brittly. Peanut like, brittly? Yeah. And it's got some ethanol in her. And you left a little bit of the peanut shells in the brittle. If you're wondering, it's a little thin. Just a tad bit thin. It's really sweet, though. And then there's a lot of alcohol in the back. You get a little bit of the peanutty in the, the finish there. With the ethanol? Mm hmm. We like three of these. You remember the dad Don't encounter? say, yeah, I do. Do not say which one the gutter bottle is because we will inevitably put that dead first place. Dead first. Just top of the podium. Did Thank you move on to B? Sure. The fastest whiskey war we've ever done. Ah, oh, we're back. Okay. Oh, that one's rich and syrupy. Tell me that doesn't smell better than a fruit cocktail. Of course. Yeah, of course it does. Whew. I would imagine probably, we'll Ooh. see. I, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say two of these are gonna smell better than A. Mm. That smells good. That this smells so rich compared to- Boozy fruit cocktail. Listen, all these and whiskeys- it shouldn't smell that for how cheap any of them No, are. all these whiskeys are in the same price range. That's what they have in common. And they're all relatively available. So, the fact that any of them smell like this is very surprising. Oh, that tastes sharper than it- um... Than it smells? Yeah. It comes across like it's gonna be wow. a beautiful symphony of love and happiness. It's a little bit uh, more abrasive on the tongue than what you think. The nose, though. Why'd that happen? I said a little bit, not a lot of yeah, it. Yeah, but I'm still surprised. I even told you about it. When it hits your tongue, the moment it hits your tongue, it goes like that. There's like a, a that... brief moment of like a, a Brillo pad on your tongue where you're like, huh. Why? It, it, mm. it ends up okay. Something in the middle gets lost in translation, though. There's a, you know, instead of a straight line, it takes a couple detours and it, it eventually gets amazing. there. It smells amazing. No? Just smell it again. It smells amazing. Oh, I've been smelling it. It already wins yeah. on nose. <sighs> None of these will smell better than this. We'll find out. It's so syrupy and rich. Why? The richness doesn't necessarily come through on the palate. Of yeah, it smells like it's going to be really oily. Definitely low proof. It's going to coat well. And it does some of those. Man, it's just w like astringent spice. It smells fine. What's your issue here? Bananas. You know what's funny? Three of these we get banana on. Mm -hmm. I didn't think about that until right now. And we, I mean, this is the first one I think I've gotten banana on. I get like hint of banana, a little bit of wood. I don't like, oh, nope, there it is. I really like the finish a lot. I don't like the woodiness that's in the back of the palate almost at all. That woodiness bothers me a little. I'm being nitpicky right now. You but are. It's good. It, it is very thin. That nit, the that woodiness, 
I don't like. After that woodiness goes away, it's great. I Best enjoy finish that, out I enjoy of the, the box. hell out of that one. I think that one's better than B still. Ooh. I don't, the nose I mean, isn't better than B. No, nope. B's by far get the better nose, but I think C's just more pulled together. I don't know what you want from me here. Okay, move on. You think C's a better balancing act? I think so. It's not doing that anything. That taste was a lot better. It's not doing anything great, but it's doing less wrong than B was for me. The, the, the oaky part of this time was way softer the second taste. You lick your hands? You yeah. Put more Lysol in there? Yes. In my mouth. This is D. Oh, what is that? What are you doing? That's the worst nose I've ever smelled. There's nothing wrong with it. It smells like it. mesquite and barbecue. This smells like those Frito, honey barbecue Fritos chips. No, this smells delicious. Nope. Red fruit. Uh, let me get back into it. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay, it's better now. It needs, everything needs to be stirred up. You've done this three times now. Every, yeah, there's something going on. Ugh. And then you're like, ah, oh, it's better. This is just slightly under B for me. This on is those. banana nut bread, 100%. That tastes drastically worse than it smells. Now here's the thing, it's not harsh. That's interesting. It's not harsh. I don't like it though, as much. It's got uh, a little cinnamon on the back end. Okay, dude, that's a really good note because it's cinnamon, bananas, and nuts. Mm -hmm. There's, it's, but here, can I say this thing about this, this one whiskey? This is by far the least this is the smoothest. This okay. is the least offensive. Oh, I think that, huh? I think it just lays flat. Um, I don't know. I think C was like there's the, There's that oak on C that makes it a little harsher. We're gonna take a break and then we'll be right back. We're gonna run it back the other way. Okay. See you in a minute. We're back. Here's the deal. D on the D, then the C. We'll follow through with a B and then an A. This is starting to smell like uh like black fruits. Black fruits. Dark fruits. Um, there's a bit of earthiness the in the back that I didn't get on the, the first one. A little pinch of soil in there. I think <laughs> what happened is you washed these with painted water. Did you yeah. wash them in your pond or your sink? Both. Okay. You have to double wash. Okay. You finish with the pond. Ah, you start that's with the, the sink. That's the issue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can just see these covered in paper towel. Well, yeah. That's. I mean, that's how paper towel. All on there. the inside. Nah, it's everywhere. <sighs> paper towel doesn't taste. Oh. That smells fan. Paper towels don't taste, huh? Have you eaten one? You're about to. I have. <laughs> Here's the thing, smell that and think waffles and syrup and butter. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. C on the nose, maybe the best. We'll see when we get back to B. But C. Oh, I'm smelling D wondering what the hell you're getting. Oh, you were? Yeah. That's not what it, that's not the same. This is fantastic. This did get a little bit more syrupy. Mm -hmm. And it's good. I like, it smells like a nice carb full breakfast. You know what I'm saying? It's probably the best one right now. Oh, wow. That's the most red fruit I've had in a while on a whiskey. That's good. The red fruit on the tail end of this now is amazing. That, um. Flat up front, a little. A little thin. I mean, Dude, some say, of these are these are all like twenty dollars whiskey. A little bit from the the first way through. Yes, but they're also all twenty dollars whiskey. They are. Like, listen, don't expect the world, okay? <laughs> My only complaint is it doesn't taste good. <laughs> <laughs> My only complaint is it doesn't taste like George T. Stag. Oh. Okay. Oh, sweet baby Jesus, B smells good, right? Okay. It, that nose oh, got better. I swear to God, if this tastes like it smelled, it would be one of the best whiskeys under forty bucks ever. And they're all under 25. Some of that weird astringency went away a little it's bit. It's really good. But it's still, man, you fucked this. I don't think so. I feel like you did. Like what? something was wrong with these on the way forward. What? You know what's great? These could be any whiskey in the hut. I could have just pretended that those were the four. <laughs> now, now, looking back, I wish I would have done that. Are you on A? Yep. Let me get back to A. I was on B that whole time. Okay. Dry peanut shells. <laughs> yep. No. Mm, I, I see it. The thing is, I see what you're saying, but Taste it, it is banana E2, though. Taste it. There's banana in this glass. Yeah. I know what you're saying. You know what it is? It's not It's not nuttiness, dude. It's maybe a little, but let me tell you more of what it is. It's a green banana. It's a pre ripe banana. <laughs> it's a not ripe banana. 
Because it doesn't I don't help. eat those. Have you ever had... No, you, I don't eat I was, unripe bananas. I haven't had one. I'm you ever eat green say. bananas? I no. was going to say, have you ever eaten a banana with the peel on it? Eaten no. a banana with no. the peel on it? Why would I do that? I'm saying, I think this is what it would be I like. I evolved to have thumbs, so I don't have to do that. I think this is what it would be like. I've never done it. I'm making an assumption. How, how's that? That might be the worst one. one. <laughs> I don't even want to drink that again. This, the, I'm going to have to compare these two. for. I can tell you these are the worst. We're gonna do some A and B, yep. and then we'll be right back and we'll play some shit. I have mine placed right now. This is the first time ever. I've I've defeated Sean. I have dethroned Sean in placing the whiskeys before him. You ready? Yep. It is about damn time. It has been. As you have all seen, I time lapsed that. It has been 45 minutes for you to place these. You put it on like 0.1? <laughs> a and B, let's put it this way before we do this. B and C were my only record. Very close yeah. for us. I, I could go back and forth on those. I don't care which two those are. Those are good ones. You and I oh, put. No, if there's Jack Daniels, no. You and I switched the places on those. We'll go through your places. Uh, I put A last, D third. C second and B first, and it's just like a hair. So I put A last, D third, um, B second, C first. I put C first. I think C has is a better put together whiskey, personally. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, all right. Also, that. So, so places. Uh, last place for both of us. Do you and A last? Yes. Oh, okay. You I, and I, me put you and me only switched B and C. Oh, okay. Yep. We have I the same fourth and third. No, nope. both of them. Okay. So last for both of us, A. Yeah. Jack Dan. That makes sense. We I have we have Jack so little at and this frequently. point. Frequently. Yeah. Third place, D. Very old Barton. Perfect. D for that's both of ours. Yeah. Third place. Okay, your first place. B. B. My second place. Mm -hmm. Early time. All right, that makes sense. My first place, your second place, Old Forester 86. And like I said, those are very close for me. Like, yeah. closer than I even thought they would be. Yes. Um, those are closer than I thought they would be for both of us. I think the, the Barton was the wild horse to throw in these two, mm -hmm. and it maps like super well. My biggest letdown was the... Really? My biggest letdown. Oh. Because like I expected very old Barton to do a little better. Mm. I thought it would beat the Old Forester 86 group. I mean, we... It's also fourteen dollars. They have to take into consideration it's a sub fifteen dollar bottle of whiskey. Oh yeah. Jack Daniels is twenty five bucks, right? Yeah. Jack Daniels is twenty five. It's the most expensive whiskey in this list. Budget whiskey war. We're the Bourbon Junkies. Ooh. I'm Dan. He's I'm Sean. Sean. Check out the website bourbonjunk.com. Check out our Patreon. Check out our bum, Facebook bum, group. Bum. Uh, search for Bourbon Junkies on Facebook. It's like, a group. Comment, subscribe, help us out a yep. ton. Thank you very much. Listen, buy not don't not buy Jack, but buy other shit. And the proof is in the earth, guys. <clears throat> what? What you say? It's not. What? Actually, they tied. With yeah, our scoring on, system, yeah. they tied. Yeah. That's what it is, it's dude. Times. No, 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 it's the best. Yeah.